Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another day, another evening, and actually an actual evening of rugby. Instead of a morning. I can I can turn that on. Look, there you go, Dills. Are you happy? Are you happy? You can listen to me in Discord as well as on stream. What a disaster. Who would want to do that? Who would want to do that? But now if you want if you want to comment though, you've got to go on stream as, at the same time. Seems a little bit weird to me. A little bit odd, a little bit weird. They can mute me. People can mute me on Discord if you want to mute on Discord. But you can watch and chat. Watch and chat. Make sure to comment. I won't see your comments on Discord. But I'll see your comments on here. And that's all that matters, right? That's all that really matters. I'm going to minimize that because it seems weird seeing that little uh, green circle. But I hope you're doing well for a... I don't even know what day it is. What day is it today? It's a, um, it's a, it's a Saturday. It's a Saturday. Welcome, everyone, to Saturday evening. For the first time, we are actually doing a, an evening game. For me, anyway. For most of you, it's probably a, a, a morning or afternoon or who knows what. But it's actually an evening game. So instead of being 3 o'clock in the morning like it normally is for me, it's actually only like nearly midnight. So yay! How good. What's up, Cabbage? Good to see you, dude. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you um, at a game. How good. How amazingly good is that? We've got Georgia and we've got Portugal. Which I think is going to be really exciting. I think it's going to be extremely exciting. So, if you think it's not going to be, then I have bad thoughts for you. Because this is this is going to be the game of the day for me. Because tomorrow starts in about a quarter of an hour. Or less, even. Ten minutes away. Um, this morning was a bit of a non-event. Argentina and uh, Samoa was a bit average. It was a bit garbage. It was a bit rubbish, but it's all right because we go again and we come back here. Six minutes till kickoff. The Georgians and the Portuguese, three places uh, between them actually in world rankings, which is quite interesting. It's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be a battle of a forward pack versus a battle of a back line. Because these two teams are very different styles. I think Portugal will want to spin this out. Portugal will want to use their back line. I think Georgia will want to keep this tight. They'll want to keep it in the pack and possibly play a territory in the base game and look to force Portugal into a style that they're not probably wanting to play. We'll see, though, as it progresses, as it goes. I think Georgia is certainly the favourites to win this game. But we will see how the Portuguese react. Of course, they've looked very good in their matches so far in this Rugby World Cup. But it's good to be it's good to be here on a night time and not be half asleep for a change. Although by the end of it, I probably will be. But we'll see how we go. Going into this game too with the fantasy team, we'll, we'll recap this with a couple minutes to go before kickoff. I made a little change. I made just a little change to my fantasy team. I've um, I want I didn't want to have too many points left over, and I didn't want to go into the next round, or fully into this round with four and a half points unspent. Uh, so I splashed a little bit of cash, as they may say, and, um, put, I, I, I ventured in to the, uh, Ireland-South Africa game, alright? I didn't want to, I didn't want to do it, but I've done it. I've done it! I have two points left, and I ventured in, um, and jumped on Tideburn. I've done it now. It's done. The damage is done, right? And I noticed Boffelli's actually dropped points. He's actually dropped points! Oh, he dropped eight points. Oh, God, what do I have to do next? Uh, we do have three players involved in today, though. Gigashvili, uh, the big prop for Georgia. And we've got two Portuguese. Marquez, the goal-kicking number nine, scrum half. And, of course, big Storty on the left wing. He's not big, he's fast, he's agile. He is elusive. And I'm looking to score some tries and score some points, hopefully, if uh, Georgia... Um, get a bit exposed on the outside channel. So we'll see how we go. We will see how we go on that one. Hopefully we've got some big points coming on for those lads because, jeez, tell me about it, I need it. Oh, I need it. I've also got, um, 
One Englishman, uh, Ludlam in the side for, for England, who play in the wee smalls. And then, of course, the big one in about, what would it be, eight hours time for now, seven hours time, depending on where your daylight saving goes. Um, Ireland and South Africa, that's the massive one that I'll be back for in the morning. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I think it's a game everyone will be looking forward to. So we'll see how that one goes. I think it's going to be quite an exciting matchup for sure between, what, the two best teams in the world, ultimately, right? The two best teams in world rugby. Number one, number two, South Africa and Ireland. And it will ultimately decide the number one ranked team, too, heading into a new week of rugby because the winner will take or keep the number one spot. So it's a bit weird, actually. It's a bright, sunny day. And uh, where is this one being held? Ah, Toulouse. Nice sunny day in Toulouse for this game. The Georgians look about ex as excited as uh, Pumpkin being left out in the rain. And ready for a good supporting crowd, actually. Big chance going around already. A lot of Portuguese support, that's for sure. Buzzing around the crowd, singing the national anthem. Gotta love that. We've replaced coffee today with um, a little bit of um, sugary goodness. So that should keep me going to about 2 o'clock in the morning, hopefully. Ah, good stuff. Good stuff, right. Everything must be working all right. How's everyone checking out Discord? Nice. Alternative commentary. <laughs> oh, Dills, you're a shocker, man. I'm not I'm not going to be um full on commentating the whole game though, but we'll see how we go. We could add a little bit like that. Depends how many comments we get from the from the lads in the chat. I feel this is my best round regarding fantasy. 10th place at the moment. Sean, you're doing well, son? That's good. That's good. I'll pin that one. Uh, Dills will... Actually, Dills, I need to actually change that in the... Um, in the... Uh, in the page. We are... Kickoff is imminent. FYI. Not in that one. I do need to edit that... In here. Because it keeps... Keeps damn well changing. No, not the, oh, I did the command deals, but um, just in the description. I think um, our man Jack. No, that link's all good, dude. Link's all good. I think our man Jack fixed it in the um. In Discord, so it stops refreshing, because they keep getting it changing all the time, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. But uh, it's all good. It is all good. It's all good. Don't worry. Don't fear. Not to us. Oh, the kitty. I was waiting. I didn't say anything, the kitty. I was gonna know. I watched the end of it and I thought I'm not gonna start the stream until until the Warriors have finished. Um, and I thought you all might be feeling a little bit sad, you know. So I thought, ah, oh, do we um, you know, do we do we hold a moment of silence for the Warriors season? Do we do we give them a bit of commiseration, a moment of silence, just to remember the season that was the probably the best the Warriors have had in about two decades. Oh, and now you got to turn your attention, McKinney. you got to turn your attention to, I guess, the All Blacks for you, possibly. Um, yeah. I, <laughs> no, no, you're all good, Dills. I fixed it. It was just in the description. I hadn't changed it, man. So you're all good. The command I changed the other day when the link expired. So the command is sweet. Um, yeah, I, I saw the Reese, Reese Rolls forward past three meters. A shocker. Turn the game, though, man. I don't, I, turn the game. Ah. It, it, kill, it killed the game. Unless there was a couple of them. I've seen people complaining there was a couple of forward passes. Um, but, yeah, it's a bit like the rugby, isn't it, right? I mean, how many stupid things do we see? We are underway very, very quickly here. Georgia in the red. Portugal in the white. And quickly and swiftly, kickoff is done. Um, yeah. It's, it's amazing when you've got so many people watching the game. You've got so many people watching the game. You've got so many people away watching replays in the game. You've got so many refs. You've got assistant refs. You've got TMOs. You've got bunkers. 
and yet they still miss so many things. It's just incredible, but hey, I mean, live by the sword, die by the sword, right? Um, yeah, it's rough. It's rough for the poor Warriors. It would have been great if they could have made the final, but unfortunately, it's not meant to be. Not meant to be. Gigash really almost made a line break there. That would have been fantastic. Uh, Sean's got, geez, Sean, you've got a lot of players. Dempsey, Ferguson. Here come, here come the Georgians, by the way. Gun a bit expansive out to the left-hand side. Looking very exciting early. Oh, here we got. Now, this will be a terrible game to commentate, right? I've done these games before on Rugby Challenge, and pff, they are hard when it's something Ladza and Ashvili's over and over and over and over again. And there's a big shot straight away. The Georgians are in. Georgia are in down the right. We talked about them going expansive or not going expansive. They've done the absolute opposite. They've gone expansive. They've scored down the right edge. And straight away, just like that, how's your mother? That was a good try. It's 5-0 Georgia. <laughs> wow. Anyone pick Tabu Sadza? Anyone? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have picked a Georgian back. Maybe Shirakadza, the captain, because he's quite a good defensive uh, rock, but I definitely wouldn't pick the Tabu Sadza down the right wing. Great start. Great start. Stuff. Good job. Well done. Well, brilliant from the Georgians. Who saw that coming? I tell you what, not me. Not me whatsoever. You gutted Supercard? Well, yes. I understand that, my friend. I understand that. But they did. Hey, come on. Next season, dude. What do you reckon? Next season. Uh, can they keep the core together? Can they come back for 2024? That was some incredible offload there. Who was that with a try assist? Incredible. I mean, Georgia are playing better than France right now against the Portuguese. Is it France? No, that was Uruguay I'm thinking of. That was Uruguay I'm thinking of. Uh, this is Paul C. So the Portuguese playing better. Georgia's playing better than Wales. Yeah, that's the right Paul, isn't it? No, that's to Paul D. I'm really mixing myself up here. What pool am I looking at? Paul C. Yeah, it is Wales in Australia. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was right. I, I was right the first time. They're doing well. They're doing well. Georgia, I mean, Georgia a threat to the uh, the Aussies? Oh, they've already played the Aussies. Georgia a threat to the to Welsh? Oh, yes, the Portuguese. Goodness gracious me. Portugal are all sorts of a shambles now. I've gone for a quick line out. It's all gone pear shaped. Marquez, do something right. Goodness gracious me, my team. Discombobulated early on. It was a shocking pass from Marquez, really was. Put them in a world of trouble. I mean, is that really legal to dive over a ruck like that? I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Yes, my team, they did. George beat Wales last time they played. Wouldn't that really screw up the pool, right? Because we're all talking about, oh, Australia, Fiji, Wales. But we are we are completely disregarding this Georgian team. Yes, they lost to Australia in the opener. But I think they could be a threat to both Fiji and um, to Wales as this competition wears on. So they still got two games to go. It's what you get when you have that buy, right? It really does mess up. And they've only played one game. So when you look at the pool here, it doesn't tell you much about what Georgia is capable of. They still have potential to do a lot of damage. Portugal only lost to Wales by 20. So it is, it is still a potential um, banana skin uh, for those sides, for sure. What's up, Amelia? Good to see you. Um, you should be able to just mute, mute me, the mic. Dills will tell you how to do it. He's the man. You should be able to just push a little, a uh, um, a little mic next to it. Should mute me, but not the game. Should. If not, let us know. Because I don't want it to double up. 
Ah, just right click. Ah, there you go. And mute there. There you go, sir. Now I've right clicked and I've got all sorts of stuff popping up. That's all right, I fixed it. Don't worry. Well, here come the Georgians, though. Are they coming up for two? This is a very good start from Georgia, by the way. Very good start. Strong carries. Width from their play. Fast ruck ball. Strong ball carriers in midfield. All the forwards getting involved nicely, nice and early. Look at this. Straight in, straight out. Inside the 22, Georgia. Very quickly, very early. Amelia, what's going on? The toughest having got you because you didn't submit work to fight the fact your internet was down most of the week. Oi, oi, oi. Crazy. How was internet ever down, right? Survive off DVDs. <laughs> what would we do without the internet, eh? What would we do? Oh, there's there's a bit of there's a, a bit of uh pretend biffo going on here off oh there is a bit of biffo here the number nine's going at it look at this oh, oh, oh. this is what we pay to see this is what we come to see give them a bit of that a bit of fisty cuffs we haven't seen a bit of fisty cuffs for a while come on marquez Give them, don't get a yellow card, son. That's the last thing we need. That is the last thing I need, especially for my fantasy team. Who's the ref here in this one, actually? Paul Williams. Yeah, okay. We'll see. We'll see how he goes, and then we'll judge him afterwards. Ooh, advance the penalty. Ouch. Ouchy, ouchy. He is indeed. He is indeed, Dills. Yesterday I got a time zone voucher for Maccas and sold about 135 bucks worth of games on cash converters. <laughs> Is time zone like an arcade for you guys as well? I remember time zone was a, an arcade here years ago. Years ago. Make something out of nothing. Oh, shocking stuff. Time zone's still in oh it is an arcade. Oh nice. Yeah. Oh, I remember it's in it's in um it's in the airport, isn't it, Dills? Is it still in the airport up there? Uh I know it's probably in the town as well. Here we go. We can see a bit of Portugal with ball in hand though, which is nice. Um Misfits. Discord link in the uh pin to the chat, dude. Go tune in there and um You'll see the rest, good sir. Well, that's not really that much of an old game, is it, Amelia? You got Ann and Rickerton. Woohoo! Good old Christchurch, eh? Always rely on them for that. Well, the Georgians have replied a kick here from the uh, former Portuguese, and it's been blasted with a, a wild bounce that's gone all the way dead in goal, about 60 out. It's a long, long way back. Still sitting 7-0, though. The game's kind of calmed down after a fiery start. Staff member felt sorry for you. <laughs> I mean, how does internet go down for that long, man? Like, what happened? Did a car crash into something? Or, goodness knows. How bad's that? I mean, there'll probably be riots in the street if internet went down for a whole week around these parts. That's for sure. Oh, dude. Well, I can understand that. Yeah. Got to do something, right? Oh, good half break there from Portugal. Let's see if they can spark something out of this. Mark here's a little short ball. He's been smoked off the ball again. The two number nines are going at each other like little terriers. It's incredible. It's been a knock-on eventually. I think that's Mark Hughes has dropped the ball forward there, which is uh, really stuffing me up at the moment. Storty's hardly touched the ball, which is doing all sorts of damage for my uh, fantasy team. Well, I hope you survived, Amelia. I hope you got through the week. Obviously, if you're back on here, then you've regained your internet. But I hope that damage hasn't been too hard for you. 
Oh, a couple of mistakes here from the Portuguese. It's costing them big time. Had an outage on Monday, 1 to 10 p.m. Fine Tuesday. Friday, yesterday. Mum woke up phone the down again. <laughs> I was not going to put up with him. Wow. Wow, crazy. Um, Supercard, I will... I'll be here for this game. I'm going to catch some sleep for the middle, but I'll probably just leave it going in Discord, dude. If you just want to watch it, I'll just leave the, um... I'll leave it going and I'll just come back. I'll be coming back for the South Africa Island game. So... I'll be back for this game, and I'll be back for Australia, uh, Ireland, South Africa. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll catch Shut Eye in the middle. But um, I'll leave it going in Discord. You guys can can tune in there if you're watching it in there. Too easy, too easy, dude. I would love to stay up all night, but I, I can't. I can't watch a game of England at 3 a.m. <laughs> Here come the Georgians, though. They look incredibly dangerous. Missed tackle down the right wing again. Look at their numbers. An offloading game is extraordinary at the moment. Georgia having a fantastic blast early. But they have spilt it. Nah, all jokes aside on England, I just... I tried to catch the games that I think are going to be entertaining, right? Um, like this game. I think this game is going to be very entertaining. Although it's the minnows, you know. It's not the star-studded teams. But it's 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 going to be, I think, an, an interesting game. With two sides we don't typically see, right? So I kind of want to watch this to see Georgia. I want to see Portugal. I do want to watch Chile, but I think we'll watch them when they've got more competitive games. I think England will just will just squash them with the pack. And yeah, I kind of regret getting up at like, what, 3, 3.30 this morning to watch Argentina some. Oh, that game was... Oh, that was... That was poor, man. That was a really, really poor match. If you got up to watch that, whoo! That was painful, dude. That was really painful. <laughs> you whipped your brother in air hockey? <laughs> Imagine waking up here in Chile, beat England. Oh, I would love it. I would love it. That's kind of why I skipped France versus the Namibia. You saw those teams, you're like, Ugh. I don't know if we're going to see much of an, uh, an even clash there. I think England have got a bit of a luxury of squad depth, right? Of, of, a, of a decent level, right? So I think they can afford to rest and rotate a few guys. I, I will be like that, Dills. 100%, man. I'll, I'll be throwing the kitchen sink out the window, that's for sure. Oh, be careful down that sideline, little Portugal man. Bit of a kicking jewel and shoeing here. Both sides... Looking to get that territory. But it's a beautiful day, is it? Man, I haven't seen too many of these games. Oh, that might be a 50-22 if it bounces out. But it's going to pivot. Oh, Marquez has saved the day there for the Portuguese. And he's blasted it into touch. Not far out of his 22. The Irish match will be good tonight. Yeah, man. You're on to it, Connor. We'll be back for that for sure. We will be definitely back for that one. I just hope that... Daylight saving changes in New Zealand tonight, as in probably like in about two hours. So I'm hoping that I wake up at the right time because <laughs> the clocks go forward an hour. So under two hours? Yeah, it's under two hours. I think at 2 a.m. it goes up, right? So I'm just, fingers crossed that I'll be here in time. I'm either going to be at the start of the game or I'll be back at half time, right? <laughs> so if you don't see me at the start, it's because I the alarm's wrong and I'll be there at half time. Or I'll be here an hour and a half early. Either way. Either way, I'll be here at some point of it. Nice to watch two... Nice to watch two regular teams... Non-regular teams playing each other. Yeah, man. That's what I like about this. I love about the, the minnows of a, of a World Cup. What sort of debacle is this? <laughs> a Georgian big... Who is that? Picking up players and throwing them around. Surely taking a mark there. Oh my goodness me, this game's very comical early on. Very comical. There's a penalty though to the Georgians. They could tick this up to 10 0 here. Great chance for it. Georgia looking very good. Very good early on. Great strong carries. Quick ball recycling. They're milking the snot out of everything, right? They are playing really good rugby. 
They're fast pace. They're throwing it. They're really throwing everything at the uh, Portuguese. The kitchen sink and everything else with it. It's been an intriguing battle so far, but Portugal have not been in this match at all, which is quite inter interesting to say, right? I thought I thought Portugal would really give them a run for the money. I thought Portugal would up the tempo a bit out of the Georgians' comfort zone, but not the way we've seen it so far. Not the way at all. Thing is, can they keep this up for the full complement of 80 minutes? That's the big question. Arms and answer. These names are incredible, right? Don't you? I just love the Georgian names. Looking to tick up another three. Easy, cheesy for the Georgian. And they are up 10 points to nil. And the fans are happy. I think Portugal's gained a few, um, a few extra fans in the crowd. After their earlier performances in the tournament against Wales. But uh, 15 minutes, 16 minutes in, and they're down by 10 points to nil. They need to be the next team to put some points on the board here. Or they could be the ones to just fade away. Oh, lost at the kickoff. It's all a bit messy. They've done very well there. How there wasn't a knock on, I'm not quite sure. Referees let that one play on, and he's given a penalty. To Georgia yet again. You like the alternative commentary better than the me version? Aye, 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 Dills. I don't know. You're a crazy man. That's what you are. You're a crazy man. Georgia getting rid of a get out of jail free card here. Oh, that, that's smart. Now, that's a rugby challenge player if ever I've seen one. Don't go to the easy side. Go to the other side where no one's standing in the way. I thought, see, I thought that was a knock-on off the kickoff, to be honest. Portugal a bit hard done by off that play, which is a bit of a shame. Don't get too many options or opportunities to kick on from that. And still they're under pressure now. Up near halfway, Georgia looking to run the set-piece play. A good, hard-charging run. And quick ball! They're getting such lightning plays off the breakdowns, the Georgians. Quick ball. Set back line. Very, very well executed at the moment from the Georgian side. As they pop up again. Good hard run. Gigashvili's involved heavily. Oh, here's a big run. Look at him go. Big back rower. Oh, the subs are all running around the paddock on the field. Messily it comes out and Georgia have scored a try. How? How did that ball come out? After Hans is one who's been credited with the try. Referee says it looks all right, but we are going upstairs to the 6 million cameras and 3,000 people that are watching them. The ball just kind of flew out. Let's take a look at this one. Interactive commentary is what you like? Yeah, yeah, right, me too. Me too. I don't expect this one to be too terribly interactive because I don't think many people are going to probably want to tune into this game. Um, I think we'll see a lot more a lot more in the uh, second or the, the final matchup this morning. But we'll see. We'll see how we go. So that's a knock on. 100% knock on. We'll be going back for a scrum. Portugal feed. We don't need to look at this three times, let alone 300 times. Straight knock on from the Georgian player. Great heads up play, though. From the little number nine. Yay! Good stuff. Go, Portugal. Woo! Georgians look incredible, though. They look absolutely incredible. A female. Ah, oh, she's done a few of those matches. Still, she's done a few of the um. The TMO. Matches. Incredibly. Oh, I think they've done a bad job. You haven't seen one yet. Crazy. Crazy. Crazy.
Right, Portugal, let's go. 90 meters, end to end. Let's do something. Do something special. Get the boy Storty involved. That's what we need to see. Oh, they're not very well protecting the ball here. George, uh, Portugal. Georgians are quickly over it. They're having to work hard, Portugal, just to retain their own position. Marquez, let's do something a little bit more special here. Fired back, and they clear from their line. It's not going to find touch. And now they will run it back to Georgians. 40 meters out, stepping, running, driving, jinking, and knocking the ball on. I like it. Right, come on, Portugal. Let's go. Box kick. Marquez going long. Oh, good hands. Just on the Georgians are a step above. I thought this was a chance for the Portuguese, but the way they're playing so far, Georgia are all over this game. All over this one. Very electric from the fullback. He looks very sparky. They have to try and keep up here, Portugal, with uh, the speed of the game, which is surprising. Oh, they've messed up their line out. Bad to worse. It's all going in a, in a custard square at the moment for the Portuguese. Georgia happy to play this down. Oh, no, you're going to run yourself into trouble there, boy. No, he's in touch. He's messed that one up. Good defense, good chase. Good action from the Georgians. They are really all over this game. Need a little bit more out of Storting here. He's hardly got the chance. He's hardly got the ball. <laughs> Behind the scenes work there, Dills. Good stuff. Oh, no, they're in trouble. Ooh. They've actually gone back and said that he wasn't in touch. Oh, wow, 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 Mr. AR on the side there. Yeah, you put your hands on your hips. Ooh. Well, well played. He's not either. Silly man. See, that, that's, that's your female TMO, right, Dills? She spotted that. She went, no, no. Oh, that, that half a split second, he cleared that ball back. If anything, though, this is a bit of a opportunity for Georgia to put pressure back on. What a picturesque stadium, right? That's so good. It's like, beautiful day, packed stadium. Doesn't look to be any wind. Tranquil. Oh, but Georgia get the Georgia get the free kick. How how unfortunate is that? How really unfortunate is that? Well, it's just a free kick here for the Georgians, so they could take and they will take a scrum and reset it. They could tap it. They could um kick to the corner. Of course, they won't get the line out in that case. It'd be just being a free kick. But they've opted for the scrum, and I think this is where the Georgians will really put the pressure on now. See if Portugal can actually step up to this one. Hold their own. Put a bit of pressure on the Georgians. Not a chance. Solid as a rock. Oh, and a penalty advantage too for the Georgians. They're going to run something in here. Backline play. Straight and direct, Georgia. Straight into the midfield. Popping up short. Now they go back to the forwards. Look how fast this ball is. Oh, it's a, it's a Joe Marler. It's a Joe Marler special off the noggin. 
The Joe Marler special. I hate to see it. Honestly, hate to see it. But we are going back, of course. Penalty back for the uh, Georgians. I mean, they could knock over another three here. They could go to the corner and try to put the pressure on. We have not seen them maul. <laughs> Scon them right in the noggin. Oh, poor old Gigashvili. He was almost away there. <laughs> it does look funny to see him absolutely sconed in the face. All right, they've gone to the corner. They have the Georgians. Let's see if they can grab themselves five. I want to see a maul here. And they are. They're going straight to the maul. Five outs. It's a bit disjointed. It looks like it's spun around the side. A bit of collapse. It looks maybe they've actually collapsed it themselves here, the Georgians. Which is a bit counterproductive against the run of play there. You got Nirashvili with a, a pick and go. They've gone not far here. Still at the five meter line. Keeping the forwards. Gigashvili with another carry. Keeping it with the bookends of the props. And it's a Portugal penalty. They've done very well there. Over the ball very quickly. Looked like Madeira. Or it might even be Fernandez, the loose head prop. Classy play there. Look at him. Went down. Oh, it was. It certainly was Fernandez up and over it. Bang, pressure on. Strong over the ball. Good escape there from Portugal. Done well. Done very well. Still down 10-0 though. As we are halfway through the first half. Hitting our way towards half time now. A lot of work to do here for Portugal. They've not, they've not really exited that well to be honest. Not even towards the 10 meter line. Oh, another shoddy line out. Oh, jumping and diving their way through. Great take there. Here we go. Portugal now. They're going to run their way from their own danger zone. Nope. Oh, Look like they were going to shaping to kick there. They put it out wide before a really wobbly, dodgy old kick. Oh, that is a great run back. Oh, the Georgian fullback is a machine. It's getting a bit dangerous. It's getting a bit sloppy. They've kicked it ahead. And it goes into touch. Wow. Wow. He is something special. That little Georgian fullback. My goodness me. Watch him at your peril. He is electric. We're seeing Ninashvili. Whew. If you want an electric little player for your fantasy team, Ninashvili is all of that. He is a fantastic little player. Fast, dangerous, electric little man. And once again, the Portuguese are pinned down inside their own 22. Again. And they just seem to be kicking out, kicking out, back down inside. Oh, charged and into touch. Oof, they are struggling here, Portugal. They really are struggling. But I tell you what, take a bow to Ninashvili, who's been sublime for Georgia. They don't have a Portuguese player down. Well, surprising for us, 12, 25 minutes. I thought the Portuguese would put up a bit more of a fight than this one, but they've been being dragged down. Portugal can't catch a break or leave their, their half. Damn, yeah, you're right, Mighty. They can't. They are just getting plugged in, aren't they? Just They clear it. Georgia run it back, and then they have to really break it down to try and survive. And then clear the line, and then face another onslaught time after time after time <laughs> oh supercar that's certainly going to happen the box are definitely going to smoke the irish right isn't that the plan 
Doesn't everyone want everyone wants to face France now, don't they? Isn't France your favourite team? Oh, there's boos and woos here as Marquez has cleared the line, but Oh pff. That's a pathetic Of course it's Carly, right? It's Carly on the on the sideline. Always putting it into the small teams, eh? Give him a big boo. Carly in the bin. We need to get that emote working. Carly in the bin. It's ready to go. I tell you what, it's ready to go. Georgia are mauling their way. Supercard wants ABs versus Irish. Well, I mean, you're going to have to hope Ireland win then, aren't you? Why do you want that supercard? Tell me why. And welcome back, Amelia. Oh, a bit of obstruction there in the back line. Georgians are electric, aren't they? My God, since when did they get so good in the back line? Penalty Portugal, though. Great work over the breakdown. Marquez is a little nugget. He really is a fiery little nugget, that number nine. Supercut. <laughs> what a surprise. EAFC's lagging, right? What a surprise. Shock. I mean, unless you spend at least 55000 on an already supercard, then you're not going to get the good latency, right? We all know money wins there, right? Reckon the ABs will do a job on Ireland? Box, I'm not so sure. Mm, interesting. Okay. Okay. Right. I mean, I don't, I don't disagree with you, but I'm, I don't, I, I really don't know what will happen. I don't think, um, oh, come on, Portugal. Saw your crap out. Not straight at the line out. Giving the ball straight back. They finally got a little bit, a little bit of field territory. And they've just thrown it away. They've thrown it away. Yeah, I wanna I wanna see the Springboks Irish game, right, Supercard, because I I I don't think we've seen Ireland be tested. We've not seen Ireland really have any hard work, right? They've just cruised their way. Sure, a couple of average sides that could have tested them, they've put them away easily. And no arguments there, but still I think the Springboks should may give them a bit of a run. We'll see. We'll see in a few hours' time, right? I think it should be a good, interesting matchup. And injuries, of course. you got two front runners that could face potential injuries. Early bugs from EA is nothing new. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Early bugs from any game developer is nothing new, right, Amelia? God. Why not pass here? Oh, Georgia. They play some attractive rugby, right? They are fun. Why don't we grab any Portuguese backs, man? I mean, any um, Georgian backs. They look good. They look really good. It's hard, though, isn't it? There's so many talented outside backs. It's hard. But, boy, I tell you, um, in the midfield, Shirakadza really is a controlling playmaker. He's, he's very good. Of course, we all know Toru is a very good player as well, right? So, they've got some fantastic talents. He, he's a bit of a legend of Georgian rugby, isn't it, Toru? <laughs> you hate EA? I mean, um, I'm not far behind you, my man. I'm not far behind you. Although, to, to be honest, I've not brought off-the-shelf new release AAA sort of title in a number of years. Pricing's just got out of control, right? Digital games used to be nice and cheap because you didn't have to buy a box. But now, whoo -hoo, it's crazy. Here come the Georgians again, though. Look out down that right wing. So dangerous with Tubba Sudza. They'll go back to their pack, though. Going to laugh if the box pick up a few injuries in their back line? Oh, yeah, well, that's that's the thing, and that's with the 7-1. It only takes two of them to go down. I mean, I think they'll adapt. I think they could probably suffer two injuries. Um, I think they could suffer losing. Of course, uh, Reinhardt will be one. But I think they could definitely put a back rower into the back line. But the problem is... Oh, that's definitely an obstruction. But Georgia have got the penalty. I'm perplexed as to why. Please explain this. Offside. Okay, fair enough then. Um, the problem is, though... They typically do that big switch, don't they? At um, yeah, uh, Quagga Smith, inside centre. He's done it before, Supercard. So he's 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 quick enough, right? He's a quick enough little 
uh, back rower. But sure, it's not ideal. And of course, they are going to switch that full pack, what, 45, 50 minutes? So they're going to have to go a good half an hour without suffering a, a, a an injury. Full stop. That's what's going to be tough. So Georgia have uh, lined themselves up penalty here. They're going to take a shot at another three. Georgians are uh, playing a little bit of fire here with their their lines of attack, but they're getting away with it so far. Portuguese defense is holding. And they'll be happy they've probably only exceeded a couple of penalties in, instead of a couple of tries. It is slotted. Eggs leak and convincing leak from Hunter Hunter. And it is a 13.2 donut lead for the Georgians so far. Good Georgian support out there in the crowd, though. Look at them all. A good stack of them. Good stack of support out there. Right, let's get a bit of territory for Portugal. Let's get a little bit of a game go ahead here. Referee's telling the nine to use it straight away, and he still just bums around and doesn't use it. Oh, that's in the air. That's a, that's a pen. That's got to be a minimum of a pen. What? Okay, finally gives advantage. My goodness me, he's really not giving anything to Portugal at the moment. A clear tackle in the air. A little bit stationary here from Portugal on attack, but they get it out to their back line in a, a solid little run through midfield. Marquez is... Oh, he's done very well there. I think Fly Out Fortella has come through nicely and claimed that little kick. Still inside their own half, though, Portugal. Struggling to force their way through. Deep back line. Very deep back line from Portugal. But they get some numbers. And all the big boys are out here as well. Storty! Go, Storty! Yes! Give me the point, Storty! Portugal score! Woohoo! Yeah! That's what I love to see. Storty's the man. Storty is the guy. I told you, he's the bargain of fantasy rugby. Storty razzles. Storty dazzles. And Storty scores. The opening points for Portugal. They've finally built into their game. They've finally got themselves into a bit of structure. And with a very deep backline attack. Very deep backline attack. A couple of skip passes, missing out some rushing Georgian defenders. Storty steps inside, blitzes him for acceleration. Guns it to the corner, great try. My boy, I love it, my boy. Storty, come on. Whew. I love it. Portugal are back. Snyman at fullback, my team. That would be worth, I'd pay money to watch that, right? I would pay money to watch that. But in the possibility that we're going to see Ryan Arkats 15 on the wing, in the midfield, anywhere, right? Um, is very possible. Very possible. Here's the conversion. Marquez. Oh, oh, is this? Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, that was a golden kick from Marquez. Oh, and it just doesn't quite drag enough, but Storty, ho oh, ho, legendary. Oh, I like that. I like Portugal. Can you tell? Can you tell I quite like this Portugal team? I quite like this Portugal team. <laughs> They're fun, man. They're exciting. So would you, my team. <laughs> I mean, the possibilities, dude, Uh Oh, Storty's doing it again. He's just split them in half already. He is really good. Smoked this. Oh, he's, he's dummied. Stepped. Oh, that is brilliant. Now it's a little port to chase fullback. Doing brilliantly. As Gwyneth kicks ahead. Storty needs the chase. But Ninashvili does well at the back. Oh, the referee's put in a tackle assist for the Portuguese. The ball's thrown up. Look at this from Georgia. Now they're going coast to coast. Man on. Beautiful passing. It's all the big boys. It's literally the second row to the front row. 
And a no arm tackle from Portugal could see them in a bit of strife. This game is really starting to open up in a big way. Goodness gracious me, this is incredible rugby. Nirashvili just standing in front of receiver. Oh, there's a man. Are we stopping? Oh, boo. That was so exciting. Isn't this like the best? This is the best game of the World Cup. 100%. Looks like the scrum half is coming back to bite you. What do you mean, Sean? What, picking Marquez? Nah, don't. He's all good, man. He's all good, dude. Early days. He hit the post. That's worth half a point, right? Isn't it? Half a point? Ah. Oh, I hope they don't send him off. If it's bad, just give him a pen, right? <laughs> he was worse off. He was worse off. He got dumped. Bang. Oh, it wasn't in his head. Oh, go away, referees. Go away. Don't ruin what's been a really exciting game. Oh, let's get the box out. Card count's going up. Here comes... Oh, are we 22 or are we 4? I mean, honestly, it could go either way. I agree, my T. Boo! 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 Let them play, man! For Christ's sake! Let them play! <sighs> Fernandez is off for a yellow. No arms tackle. It looked like it was chest on chest. I mean, to be honest, Fernandez come off for us off, right? I think. Um... Then Mamu Kashvili, I think it was the hooker that went charging in. That's that was such an exciting passage, man. They were attacking. Portugal were attacking. Fifty meters that way. Fifty meters back that way. Line breaks all over your face. Missed tackles, but broken tackles. It was so exciting. And then the referee just comes on and goes, Bleh. and now it's gonna die. It's gonna. Portugal will be too hesitant to play any sort of expansive game because I'll just want to play territory. And Georgia will try and throw everything they can at them. A shame. A real shame. A real shame. I thought that was a really, really exciting... But that was literally the best five-minute passage of this World Cup for me. Easily the best five-minute passage. Super exciting. Um, fun. Engaging. Attacking. Expressive and expansive. What? They're talking about another yellow card for being offside. Stop ruining the game. Oh, good hit. Crossfield kick is going to find touch. If, if he sends someone off here. Oh, I don't think he means the game's boring. It's, that is really high quality, but the fact that it, they're ruining the game. I mean, was the tackle that bad? Give him a pen. I mean, there was no head contact. Oh, he's not seen anyone off there, thank God. Yes, yeah, Supercard, this is a great game. Portugal took a while to get into it, right? They took a wee while to get into it. Yeah, my T. I, a game like this, I feel like they do. I understand Georgia want to do their best to try and, you know, up them up the ladder, right? But it was exciting, and it wasn't that bad. Sure, if he, like, shouldered him in the noggin, right? Direct on, shoulder, and... Okay, okay, right, sure. But that was marginal at best. Marginal at best. One of the most exciting games you've watched in a while, my team. 100%, dude, I agree. Once Portugal, after probably that 15 minutes, and when Portugal actually got into the game, it exploded with excitement. The start was a bit dominant for Georgia, but still they played exciting brand of rugby. Imagine if these two sides were in the Six Nations, or if Georgia were. Yeah. I mean, it will be great. Georgia are playing a fantastic brand of rugby. We didn't see the, anything of them against Australia. They, they played in their shell, I think. They played very much in their shell. Uh, they didn't 
really try and create. They didn't try and do anything fancy. I think they were they were playing too defensive, right? They were trying to just control and limit the damage um, somewhat. Whereas here, they're the aggressor. They're the higher ranked team. They're the team that has to make the plays, right? So they are expected to win. So they're playing more freedom here, which is really exciting. And that ball is incredible. Nanashvili is playing an incredible game. He is in touch, though, covering across. Almost another exciting piece of explosive play from Alfred Hansa. This is... This Georgian side... That little inside ball... Off a ruck. It went out to... I think... The big hooker, Mumashkashvili. Again. And he slipped it in field... To Ninashvili, who has just gone... On his extreme speed on a tyrant run. Before slipping it back inside to Alfred Hunter, who just about went into the corner. Ran out of space, but boy, oh boy. It is half time. I tell you, if you're not entertained, then wow we. Wow we. What a half of rugby. What an incredible half of rugby. The score is. I think it's still 13 5. I've lost track of the score, honestly, because it's been so much fun. It's been incredible fun. This has been the best 40 minutes of rugby at the World Cup. In terms of high quality, excitement, attacking intent, and just explosive ability of two teams. This is up there with one of the best games I've seen in this tournament. One of the best games I've seen in, in of rugby for a while. Like you say, Mighty. I agree with you. A bit, a bit marred by that yellow card, but no damage done yet. But really exciting, exciting game. I have enjoyed that. Especially that last 20, 25 minutes. Uh, phenomenal. Both sides throwing absolutely everything at each other. All the fun in the world. That was so good. So good. Now, the big question is, I saw Sean say the scrum half is coming back to bite me on the ass. I'm going to check the fantasy side and see just how badly he's biting me on the ass. He's got seven points. I'll refresh it. storty has got 35. Yes. I should have made him my captain. Wow. All right. We're looking all right. Storty's doing good. Storty is the monster. Look at this. He's 35, 34 on here. The try. Brilliant. Missed the tackle. But look at that. Defender's beating six. Wow. Seven for line breaks. Oh, he is a monster. I really like him. He only costs three points, right? What an exciting little player. An exciting little machine he is. Sadly, Mark isn't going well. And again, maybe maybe should have grabbed a DuPont. Would have, would have changed the game for me. Um, but four and a half points. I think he can come back. He does kick. He's made a lot of errors. A line break assist has certainly helped. Um, but he's been involved. He's been very involved. He's an aggressor. He really is an aggressor. He'll kick better. He'll come into the game. It does say two points here, so. Doesn't look good. He, might, he must have lost five near the end there for some, somehow, some reason. Um, which ain't great. Ain't great at all. How's uh, everyone else's fantasy sides going? Jumping on the points? I might actually have a look at the table, because I'm sure no one else has picked up 42 points from this game, right? Am I right? Yeah. That's right. What are we up to now? More people joining? Uh, a couple more at the end there. Right. Oh, rocking it up. Up four places. Yes, four spots. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I haven't quite taken... I haven't quite passed you up there, Supercard. You're doing all right. What have you got in this game, actually? Oh, cheat. Um, oh, you've got Tabazadza. Oh, and Gigashvili as well. Oh, scummer. You've still got three... Five players to come in, though. Uh, Sean's in here as well. What's he? He's got Gigashvili. Just Gigashvili in this game. All right. He did pick up Buffelli. He captained DuPont. Of course you did. Of course you did. What's up, Fallon? How you doing, buddy? It is morning now. Just. I mean, we're an hour away from losing an hour of our life. I mean, how sad's that, right? I hate daylight saving. We should scrap it. Do we? 
Who disagrees that we should scrap daylight saving? Does it really do any advantage? Does it really make a difference? I'm going to lose an hour's sleep. That's what I'm going to lose. And one of the biggest nights of, of the Rugby World Cup. That's insulting. What happened? Um, what happened with what? Portugal and Georgia are the two best teams of the Rugby World Cup, Fallon? That's what happened, man. Do you want to talk about excitement machines? You talk to me about Portugal and Georgia. Oh, oh. I tell you what, the excitement levels are off the charts. Time? Oh, daylight saving, dude. The daylight saving changes tonight. You're on New Zealand too, aren't you, dude? So you you should know. We lose an hour. We lose an hour in about an hour. I'm drunk as fuck. <laughs> How much of that is uh, commiserations on the uh, Warriors, dude? Drowning your sorrows on the, on the Warriors' loss? Is that what it is? I mean, you're typing pretty well, considering if, you, if you're that hammered. I mean, I would have expected that to say something completely different. So I, I applaud your good typing. Well played. Well played. But you, it would have all happened by the time you get back consciousness, right? Yeah, I was looking at your team, Sean. Um, yeah, yeah, you have had a few good games. Obviously, your French impact was, was massive. But consistent, though. I think we've got a lot of consistency this round. How's old Jacko's drop down? Where's Jack? He'll be sleeping. He'll be sleeping, that's for sure. Um, he's got no one in this game, but he still has... Man, he's got five... He's got eight players still to come. Okay. So we can't count him out too much. What's Bears doing? Uh, he's got the Portuguese lock. And that is about it. Who's he got in the second row? I can't tell because the two Portuguese locks. Oh, Martins is. Oh, okay. So he's got a back rower. Martins is actually listed as a lock. That's sneaky. That's sneaky. <laughs> now it's going downhill, Fowler. Now it's going downhill. Just to watch the Warriors. And I'm ready for South Africa versus Orlando. <laughs> Autocorrect is a drunk man's enemy. That's for sure. <laughs> you got a few hours to wait, dude. That game ain't for like another seven hours. Or six, I guess, technically. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, it'll be seven hours, right? 8 a.m., yeah. Seven hours away. You got a wee while to wait. I mean, I, I don't think you're going to make it, Fallon, honestly. I don't think you're going to make it. <laughs> oh. The NPC? I mean, you started off so well, dude. It started off so good. Your, your, your typing was amazing, but it's... I don't know what happened. The burritos kicked in or something. And it's just it's just gone completely through the trash. <laughs> A great night at the NPC. Is that, is that what it was? <laughs> oh, I did see... I did see Northam played. But I mean, the World Cup's on, so screw the NPC. Honestly. Feel like the TMOs are given too much power with the bunker system. I don't know how they're missing so much, right? You see that you see the intricate little things they sometimes get, and you're like, mm, fair enough. And then you see like massive, glaringly obvious things they miss, and it's like, how have they missed that? Yet they get the tiny, tiny little things. It's crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. See, so why does the team not pick up like Portella, the Portuguese? fly half he looks fun I mean the Highlanders could do with him went to sleep at 7am woke up at 8.30 8.30pm or <laughs> oh cracker 
Cracker Jack stuff, man. So true, Supercard. Islanders could do with anyone. You are so right. <laughs> oh, Fallon's all over the track. Oh, so funny. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> Yellow, yep. Oh, so you, you slept. You slept over 12 hours. Well done. Absolutely well done, sir. I could do with that, honestly. I've been up since 3.30 this morning, and I've not slept at all. So I've just about been up 24 hours. Jesus, that's that's not good. And I've only had one tiny red bull, so how am I still alive? I know, Dill, I know. I know. Quality, eh? And then you expect me to watch England? <laughs> nah, not a chance, mate. Not, not a chance. Not a chance. Yeah, I'm like you, Supercard. I probably only get four or five hours sleep. Like, even if I go to bed early? No, but I don't. I, I, I'm like Supercard. Like, I could go to bed now, say, at like, what is it, 1 a.m.? There's a water bottle in the way. I go to sleep now at 1 a.m., right? And I'll wake up probably like at, at 6 or something anyway. <laughs> Fallon, you got to tune in. Portugal, Georgia, dude. It's happening right now. It's half time. That's what's good to watch. It's exciting. It's exciting. It's fun. Uh, the referees are ruining it like always. Um, and then you'll Joe out because you'll be bored watching five minutes of England and then wake up at eight o'clock to join us and watch South Africa and Ireland. Dills is flabbergasted. Now, Dills, you can't... That Big words like that are banned from the chat. That's a timeout for you, sir. <laughs> You're not allowed to say flabbergasted. That's too big of a word. What are you flabbergasted about? How Fallon's still managing a abling... I feel like I'm the drunk one now. How Fallon's able to still write text in his state. I want to look at some stats here. Right, I'm not up to answer. It's got eight points to his name. Tackles. Ninash Feely is, is <laughs> outstanding. He is fun of all fun. That and your sleep schedule. My sleep schedule? Dude, you need to worry about your own sleep schedule. I got up this morning to watch the game and you hadn't slept yet. And you weren't even watching World Cup games. I mean, that's banned. The only good excuse for staying up all night is to watch the World Cup. If you're not staying up to watch the World Cup, then you should be... Well, they no, shouldn't be sleeping. I mean, sleeping's boring anyway. My sleep schedule's kind of like, I get tired, I sleep. Even if it's like doing the same right now, I'll, just be, I'll be out. Gone. That's all I need, man. That's all I need. A couple of minutes here or there. One minute, you're not tired anymore. Bang. On to the next one. I did go to bed, but I didn't sleep. I kind of just played on my phone, and then I, I, I turned Sky on, on the TV, and that was it. <laughs> Hold, turn off the Discord, eh? How about that? <laughs> oh man! I want to get some stats in the second half before it starts, though. That tells me the tale. Portugal, 22% of territory. That's that's pretty average. That is pretty average. They've been they've been shut out of this game. They're lucky to still be in it, to be fair. They are lucky to still be in it. I mean, Dills, you've come in you've come into the, the birthday stream twice and not brought gifts. I mean I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> you don't care about Two countries that are completely us. <laughs> it's like watching aeroplanes fly over my house. <laughs> oh, Fallon, you're class, man. You're class. I love it. I love it. Well, Fallon, you just need to go and prepare yourself for Ireland and South Africa. 
fun airplanes though. Yes, supercar, they are fun airplanes. They're like jets that are going, Nyrum! and they've got the little smoke coming out the back. They go, Nyrum! you know, fluffs everywhere and 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 um, exciting, you know, colours and all sorts of stuff. You know, the best planes, the best type, only the best type. Oh, they see you're too late now. <laughs> So like, it became my birthday in the first stream this morning, and then it was still my old man day at the stream tonight. How crazy is that? What sort of life do I have? None. That's what. When the World Cup's on, it's all about the World Cup, right? Right, I think we're getting underway again. Here we go. Oh, it's remaining a yellow card. Thank goodness for that. It's still your birthday in Aussie, so I'm not late. Yeah, true super card. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I'll leave you gifts on the table. <laughs> the more expensive they are, the better. It's super birthday USA and Europe. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I could move to the USA. Gonna go meet up with Dub. Me and Dub are gonna hang out and go to some rugby games. I've forgotten where Dub lives though. It's probably like, yeah, it's way too early for Dub to be on. <laughs> Give a stream a like. <laughs> Good man, Supercard. You're the real MVP. That's, <laughs> that's what Fallon needs to do. He needs to play some online um, 2K. That's what he needs to do. I'm sure that will go well in his state. Uh, we're quickly underway though. This bunker system will be as bad as the, as VAR and soccer. Well, yeah. As long as I don't start judging off sides, then we, we should be right. <laughs> don't get paid to mod. Dude, I'll give you a 150% pay rise. Ooh, Portugal gone. Oh, that's unlucky. Over the back. I mean, a line out for a fly half. That's exciting. Got five minutes till Fernandez comes back. Jeez, Portugal, come on, step it up. Need another lock in the center? Do you go in, all in on Arki? <laughs> <laughs> he is. He is, Fallon. Are you going to put him in your fantasy team? I think you should. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. I think you should watch that game, Fallon. Um... Give us a running commentary. I've gone... Uh, who have I gone in in my... um? I did upgrade. I did up... Oh, yeah, I went to Tide Burn. I think he's going to make a, a few tackles, right? I hope he's going to make a few tackles. I mean, you're running out of time, Supercard, to pick too many replacements. We've only got, like, a couple of games tomorrow, don't we? What have we got tomorrow? We've got Scotland playing tomorrow. You could jump in on them. Um, oh, Wales and Australia. I mean, do you want to... you got pretty much four games left to jump in on if you want to jump in on a late, a late change. But, jeez... I'm reluctant on that. I think that might grab you a few points. Scotland and Tonga. I, I don't know who's going to get you points there, though, man. I really don't. Oh, brilliant tackle there. Good Portuguese defense on that one. What's up, Jack? Eng, what's the time in England? Is it nice and early? Are you getting ready for the uh, English... Attack of Chile. You have 18 and a half points for two players. So you need... Dude, I don't think you could... Um, I don't think you could... Get... I don't think you could get... um. A lock and a centre. Yeah, 18 and a half points. I don't know if you'll be able to get a 18 and a half points out of that. It's 2pm. 2, 2 oh, nice. Oh, this is like perfect time for you guys, isn't it? 
Oh my god, Fallon. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious me. I can't argue with that, Fallon. Fair play, mate. Fair play. <laughs> I mean, that that's probably the best description of English rugby, I guess you could probably put it down to. Although Jack will probably disagree with you. He's just coming from England. Ah, are we watching it? I don't think it'll be much of an entertaining clash. Right, Jack? I think it might be quite a, um, a pummeling. Have the Portuguese done something brilliant here? I think they have. It's great to, great commentary here, by the way. The American, yes, the American is explaining to us what a mall is. I mean, that's almost insulting, isn't it? Next, you'll be saying it'll be first down, first down. Fallon isn't wrong. <laughs> I mean, once you decipher what he says, my team, yeah, he makes a good point, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I think everyone, no matter what country you come from, everyone's going to be looking forward to South Africa Island, right? That's, no matter what part of the globe you come from. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think they'll be on a plane for... <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious me. Tell us what you really think, mate. Come on. Goodness me. Oh, I've got tears on that one. Right, let's see what Portugal can get themselves right back in this game. They've defused the Georgian Mall, and now they're trying to get something out of the scrum, which has completely fallen to pieces. Like Fallon wishes the English car does. They can't forward nicely here, though. Oh, look out, Marquez. You're getting in the way. 40 metres out. Portugal have built into this game very, very well. I think George's got a penalty here. No! Marquez, go. Cut it back. Good work. On the angle. Good, strong carry. Now they're near the 22. Portugal, Portela. Oh, he's taken high. He's taken high. This could be a card for Georgia. They got numbers out here, Portugal. Giving away to Storty. Storty puts a little kick behind. Storty to the corner. Storty goes dead in goal. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Are we going to see a replay of that high shot? Are we going to see a replay of that high shot? I mean, that was pretty bad. That to me, that warrants a look at a a a, a yellow, right? Nah, maybe not. You're rooting for your ancestors, dudes? You're going for Ireland? Nah, Bocky all the way for me. Box all the way. Right, we're back to 15 all. Portugal in control, and they've got their big beastie. I don't know how to describe him. Ferocious man. Is MMT playing, or are they going home because they suck? Who's MMT? I'm trying to think of what MMT could possibly stand for. I'm sure Fallon will explain it completely uh, very soon. Oh, good stuff. I expect you're going to be up for that. Um, <laughs> I expect you're going to be up for that, Dills. Come on, Marquez. Give me some points, lad. Yes. Tonga. Um... They're playing tomorrow, Fallon. They're tomorrow. So they're similar time to now tomorrow, if that makes sense. A little bit way away. You've got time to sober up for then, my dude. <laughs> well, Portugal got themselves three points. Now it is a five-point game. Just five. 
Oh, look, Jack's got a question for everyone. Which rugby club do we support? We support the Leicester Tigers? Fair enough. Um, if I was going to support someone... Depends what level of competition you're talking about. I just support my local teams because they're the only local teams I've got. So the mighty, the mighty Stags and the NPC, and of course the mighty, the mighty Lowlanders at the moment, all the Highlanders. But if you go other countries, yeah, I like Bath. Bath are kind of Bath are kind of my boys for um in the Premiership. Oh my god. Well, they're lowlanders at the moment, Dills, because they're a bit garbage. They're only highlanders when they do well. They need to sign some of these Portuguese boys for me, right? That's what they need. The Portugal are fired up. Marquez has got a ruck turnover. Oh, now we go. Portugal running wide. Gwyneth's doing well. The big back rower rumbling wide on the right hand side. Give it to Storty. Give it to Storty. They're just five out, Portugal. They're tearing this up. Leave it alone, Georgia. Go. Marquez, get it out. Come on, Georgia. Oh, come on, Portugal. Come on, everyone. Ten out now, Portugal. What a run. What a rumble down the right wing. Give it to the backs. Give it to Storty. Storty wants another try. He's the man. Portella. Oh, he's dropped it. Oh, Ninashvili clears. And it just about makes it to the 22. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Wow-wee. Wow-wee. Man. The scrum half with a ruck turnover. I've seen it all now. I've seen it all. I know, Fallon. I can read that statement. NBA season does start next month. And... My Pacers are trying to trade. Does anyone want Buddy healed? Because they're trying to trade him. We need someone. We need someone. Here come the changes. Georgians. Nirashvili's off. Oh, Georgia. Just about turned that over. Oh, look at that run, Marta, from Portugal. The left wing is sparking an advantage goes to Portugal. Oh, this is so good. This is the best game of the World Cup. Without a doubt. Now they're only 10 out. Portugal to the right side. Give it to Storty. Come on. Flat ball. Oh, little pass off the side. Just two metres short now. Portugal right there. Marquez is instructing his team like a band. Oh, Appleton. Should have thrown that pass. Still advantage. He's all over the ball, Ref. Whose team are you on? Get that red shirt off. Come on, Marquez. Let's go. There's a try assist here for the number nine. Surely for my fantasy team. Another advantage. That's three in a row. He's got to get it. Oh, give it to Storty. Oh. It's a shocker of a pass and it goes into touch. But we're going back. For another penalty to Portugal. Oh, get involved, people. This is game of the World Cup. This is the best game of the World Cup. Five metres out. Multiple penalties to the Portuguese. Whew. Outstanding rugby. Outstanding rugby. Oh, they're taking a shot. They had to score that. Surely they had to score. Better team by far in the second half, Portugal. And those Portuguese fans, Fallon, I'm sure you're watching. They look incredible as well. I mean, that's been the highlight of the game for me. Oh, that pass went to Storty. He was in for the try. I said the same with Wales versus Fiji. Yeah, but that was tarnished at the end, Sean. They killed it at the end. This is an incredible game. I mean, surely. Okay, maybe it's not the best, but it's up there, right? Fiji beating Australia probably was up there, but this is the best. Like, this has been an incredible game. 
And the fact I said that for that game just goes to show how good this World Cup's been. I mean, any game that doesn't involve England has been quite exciting. <laughs> Actually, no, yeah, Wales and Fiji was an incredible game. That really was an incredible game. There's been a lot of really good games, right? Looking at the New Zealand NBL team, we have randoms and hopeless us people I've never seen before. I have zero hopes. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I don't have much hope of them either. But I think NBA kicks off when? Like oct mid-October? So the World Cup will be pretty much almost through then. And then we can do NBA watch parties, right? We can sit and watch NBA games. That'll be more fun. Great clearance there from Marquez. Straight to the crowd. No chance for a quick line out there. Second best for you, Sean. What's been your best game? The best game of the World Cup so far. What one have you enjoyed the most? What game has everyone enjoyed the most? What's been your favorite game of the World Cup so far? We've had about 20-odd games, right? So... What's your high and what's your low? Brucey boy. What's up, my man? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Only person you know is Tom Applecrombie. Oh my God, Fallon. You need to come on him more drunk more often, dude. What an absolute incredible, incredible. That's a big steal from Portugal. Greatest rugby commentator you've ever heard. Oh, jeez. You're too kind, Bruce. You're way too nice. Here come Portugal, though. You're doing great. Oh, man. It's great to be able to do a game that's not at 3 a.m., honestly, Bruce. It's been nice. But I'm going to catch a shut-eye between this game and the big one. The big one um, for the night. But, yeah, man, I'm doing good. Been a good day so far, right? Both Fiji games for you? Yeah, the Fiji game's been really exciting. I think the low points... Um, uh, Bruce, it's, uh, Georgia and Portugal, dude. And it's a damn good match. It's an incredibly good match. Oh, this one's going to run dead from Portugal. That's a big mistake. Georgia go all the way back. Portela has been incredible. Watch the NBA games on kick and stream. Yeah, man. I can stream them on uh, Discord as well. Oh, oh, the big game, uh, Bruce. Um, South Africa and Ireland, my friend. Sorry. Maybe ABs in France is a low for you. Not because, not just because I'm a Kiwi, but too much kicking. I thought, I thought, um, England, Argentina. Although it was kind of incredible that England had such a, a solid game plan. So, I think I was just so disappointed the way Argentina played. Oh, uh, and and Argentina, um, some oh this morning was grossly poor as well so i might need to go live in portugal right ah <laughs> let's go springboks hey man i'm on your boat dude bruce i'm with you as well go the box i'm on the box boat that's for sure 100 percent. go the spring box england versus pumas let's be putting me to sleep yeah it was a pretty bad game Aside from the fact, yeah, that England actually executed a, a semi-decent, um, <laughs> semi-decent game plan. Oh, Fallon. Love your work, man. Thanks for entertaining us for the last half an hour, dude. You've been incredible. You'll be awake at 7.59. I'll hold you to that. Portugal have done well and grabbed the turnover here in their own half and pummeled this downfield. And it's turned into a kicking battle, a two-point game. Which is quite remarkable. And oh, Georgia have kicked us out on the full. Back we go. Back we go. Man, I think I need to go to Portugal, right? Anyone been to Portugal before? Oh, what a steal. What a steal. A thief. An absolute thief. Portugal stepped up in the second half. Second half. Yeah, man. Portugal have been incredible in the second half. A massive turnover there from Madeira. It will be 3 a.m., not 2 a.m. You all right? Don't think about it, Dills. Just try to get some sleep. 
Portugal are looking good. Two points behind on the attack inside the Georgian half. Oh, a little step from Portela. What a ball back. Storty. Go, Storty. Run. Storty. Yes. Yes. Storty's in. Oh, Storty is my hero. Oh, any of you that thought, have you thought that Storty wasn't the man? Well, I tell you, go watch his highlights on YouTube because he is incredible. He is incredible. Oh, Storty. All of you out there who poo-hooed my selection of Storty. Well, eat this up. Just look at the pace. Look at him go. Yes. So good. So good. Oh. <sighs> what am I looking at? Fallon, why are you still awake, dude? Actually, one not thing Wales. Wow, 100. <laughs> Why is he talking about Wales? I thought you were All Blacks all the way. I, I started listening to you because of the games you were commentating on for the All Blacks. Ah, oh, we're doing all of them, Brucey. We're doing everything. Storty, the guy I'm, I'm raging about or raving about. He's Portuguese, dude. He's incredible. He is incredible. When I made the shorts, right? And this is what you're talking about. I don't know if you saw the shorts I did on each World Cup squad. When I made that, I looked... Obviously for some clips and videos of the players. And of course he was their star player. And I watched highlights of him. And he absolutely tears it up at this lower level. He cleans up. <laughs> the Fallon, did, you should go tune into um, Reese Zammett, who did the uh, Ronaldo celebration after scoring a try against... Um, um, against Portugal. What a clown. George Rowe himself the penalty though off the kickoff. Still a long way to go. 20, 21 minutes still remains. So it's far from game over. Kikashvili's made his way off, which is a bit of a shame. Um, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, where would Ronaldo play? Ooh, George Rowe going for the corner. Wow. This is an incredible game. Oh, I'm sorry, but this is game of the World Cup. Sorry, Fiji. I've changed my mind. This is the best game of the competition. By far. A million times over. This is this is engrossing. How am I supposed to sleep after this? Oh, it's a Portugal turnover. It's a Portugal turnover. Or is it? It is. Oh my God, they are incredible. My new favorite team is Portugal. 20 minutes to go. Get rid of it, Marquez. Go long. Smoke it. Favorite games was one where Jason Mitchell scored the game and tried. Jason, Mi oh no, Georgia got a penalty here. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> Fallon. Oh my goodness, Fallon. You can stay up as late as you like. You're damn entertaining. Incredibly entertaining. Georgia are going to tap this one five minutes out. What was that game, Bruce? Oh, good run, Shinakata. Almost there, but he's held up. It'll be a goal on dropout, Portugal. <laughs> I don't think he, not, he knows what he wants to do, Dill. He's in La La Land, man. Shinakata almost charges his way over. He is certainly held up there. Great defense, great defense. Why was why was it a favorite game? What crazy crap happened in it? I can't I can't remember that one. Jason Mitchell. I can't even remember Jason Mitchell. But those games get um so crazy sometimes with the players. Portugal are just playing. They are playing at just a, a, a different level. Turnovers, they're taking high balls, they got such a deep back line. Guedes coming from deep, from fullback, just flying on through. Oh, look at this. Portala, so good at 10. He needs a super rugby contract. So does Storty. Oh, man. 
Because <laughs> Jason Mitchell keeps stuffing up and then he becomes a hero. <laughs> oh, what a play from Mata. Give it to Storty. Go, Storty. <laughs> Third attempt. Godmother, good king. Good night. Oh, good night, Fallon. You're going to sleep so well tonight. Like a baby, I can guarantee that. You'll be out like a flash. See you at 7.59, Fallon. <laughs> oh, let's see what they can do here, Portugal. Another try, and they could really put this one to bed. Getting a bit of width on it, but isolated. Oh, clanging into the ruck there, Portuguese defense. A little inside ball. Very good inside ball as well. Portugal playing nice support lines. They've got numbers out here to the right too if they can shift it. And they do nicely. It's three on two. Straightening up. Appleton almost doing it himself. Get in there. Hurry up. <laughs> we will bake you up when the game's about to fart, Fallon. Don't worry about that. Hill crossfield kick. Two men chasing Marta. Oh, good take. Good take. Very well taken there. Down the left wing. My goodness me. Georgia player going down in the air. <sighs> Portugal are just lighting a, a smoke under this. Oh, that's nothing. Nothing more than a penalty. We'll see at 7.59, Fallon. Get some shut-eye, sir. Man. The speed of this game. This rivals any Tier 1 nation side I've ever seen. Greatest game of the World Cup. Absolutely incredible. That's some, I think that's we need to put this out. Social media by far. Best game of the Rugby World Cup. Oh, we need to, we need to tag that. Oh, another line-out steal from Portugal. Kick deep eventually, though. Portugal get it back. And watch them run. Here's Guedes. Watch him go. Watch him. Steps. Jinx. Drives. Cuts back. Good lines. Great tackle on defense, though, from Georgia. What an incredible game this is. A little bit of depth. Look at the Portuguese line, though. Using all the numbers. Using the support lines. The ball bobbles back. And it's a knock on. Wow. This is such a good game. Such a good game. Whew. That's exhausting, man. This game, this match is incredible. Thirteen eighteen, the score. Sixty-five or sixty-fifth minute of the game. Perfect running conditions. Oh, dude, Sean. Isn't this a fantastic game? I mean, I'd watch this more often, right? If I'd see Portugal playing again, I'm watching it, right? This is insane. I mean, credit to Georgia, too. They're coming to the party as well with some good rugby, too. But you know it's not really how they want to play. It's not really their strength. Whereas Portugal looks so comfortable when they throw this out. When they give it out through Guedes, um, they throw it through their midfield. At one point, I was yelling about how bad he's doing, and you weren't surprised he, was, he wasn't he was benched. <laughs> uh, I do that all the time, dude. It always seems to be the case. You might be getting a Portugal rugby jersey in the future. Oh, man. I would love one. This team's in incredible. I think they've turned a scrum over. They've turned over the Georgian scrum. They've just demolished the Georgian scrum. Oh, the crowd is going bananas. They are going bananas. There's cartwheels in the stands. 
Wow. Portugal's going to win the World Cup. I've seen it. What a team. What a team. My fantasy team next next week going to have three Portuguese players. I tell you what. Ho, ho. Get me a Portuguese jersey. Rugby Portugal, get me a job. I'll come live and work there. The ladies look fantastic. The rugby team's brilliant. What more do you want in life, right? We'll take on football head to head and rugby will prevail. I'll tell you what, this is entertaining as ever. We're playing as Nathan Nichols? Probably, that would make sense. Jason Mitchell. I bet, he's, I bet he's got a rating of about 42 as well. You'll be garbage. Hey, man. Nathan Nichols made Quagga Smith famous before Quagga Smith was famous. Uh-oh. Overthrowing. Ball wobbles three. I think Appleton has come through and he's nicked that. Incredible. Over the head. Inside the 22. Portugal rumbling their way towards the line. This could be it. This could really be it. This would be a boil over. This would be upset of the row. D does this beat Fiji versus Australia? If, if Portugal win this game, does this topple Fiji Australia? This is the best game of the World Cup. I'm just going to say it for the next 20 minutes. I don't care. Here they come again. Going to the wing of guess who? It's Storty. Oh, he's, he's, he's fumbled it. And he's knocked it on. It was a garbage pass. Don't know what Martin was doing out there. But football is basically an armored version of rugby. So rugby would easily be football. <laughs> oh, Bruce. Wouldn't it be amazing? Look how quality these guys are. Look how incredible they are. They play such an exciting brand of rugby. How have they got away with this for so long? How has the world not taken notice of this team? They are outrageously good. The, the support. How far is it from Portugal to France? Not far, right? Oh, it's a two-hour flight, dude. Two-hour flight. Yeah, yeah, that's why they got so much support, right? Two-hour flight. Just a little tickle over. It's okay. We'll just go over and watch the game versus Georgia, mate. It's all right. Get Eddie on the plane. Easy cheese. Oh, free kick for Georgia. Push the right button. What a match. I hope you're all enjoying this as much as I am because this is just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Georgia's raced their way up to halfway. Off the free kick, though. Here come some changes. They've got the big, they've got the big football ones that they use for football. <laughs> Soccer or football for us is a case of people kicking a ball for ninety minutes and they always act as if a lorry's run over their legs and they get fouled. <laughs> so true, Jack. So true, my man. <laughs> oh man. It's incredible a team like Portugal can produce this, right? Oh, look at Marta. Rumble his way on through. How many of these Portuguese players are professional? Here comes Storty. Look out for Storty. Hat trick for Storty. Oh, he's been taken high. Storty, three meters short. Oh. Storty's incredible. You got players who play from anywhere from 20 to 45 without a break in rugby, whereas you have players in football who complain about playing for 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Is there only 10 minutes left? What a match. Seen multiple times on memes. Yeah, those memes. Entertaining, right? Yeah, football 90 minutes pretending to be hurt. And rugby's 80 minutes of pretending that you're not hurt. Yeah. Crazy, right? 
I mean, Portugal need one more try, one more try, and they can really, like, confidently play a bit of defense, right? They just get one more finish, just one more little finish. Georgia have cleared their line. Not quite up to halfway, though. Just to the 10 meter line at best. I mean, if you're slept on this game, if you're slept on this game, you need help. You need help. This has been the highlight of the World Cup. Georgia have been shut out. So much love for Richie McCall 2015 footage. <laughs> That's where you're covered in blood. Oh, Portuguese lineout's been terrible, but the midfield keep running through and securing that ball. I think the midfield have got more lineout takes for Portugal than their second row. That's how this game's gone. Right, the subs are on. Can they keep up the tempo? No footgate. What? You gotta have to explain that one, Dills. Oh, Marquez is a brilliant little player. Because his coaches didn't know he was hurt. No, penalty to Georgia. I mean, Georgia losing this really does completely bamboozle my little plan of them upsetting Australia or, or well, not Australia, Wales. But boy, oh boy, Portugal, man, they deserve this. Goodness gracious me, they deserve this. Good penalty kick, though, from Georgia. Gets themselves right up into 10 meters into the Portuguese half. And that was very good. Very good ruck turnover from the Georgian. Rumbling his way on through there. Wales is still in this. Well, Wales, Wales still have to play Georgia. Australia has to play Portugal. And based on this... Portugal's going to beat Australia and Georgia will beat Wales, right? Right? Fiji will go through top and Portugal will go through second. Sounds legit to me. Sounds legit. Oh, and they'll both beat Fiji too. That'll be fun. Portugal and Fiji. Oh, that'll really be fun. When's that? That's a game to watch. Georgia, though, putting a bit of pressure. Oh, big fan and a knock on. Just about for Georgia. There's bodies strewn all over the field. This is an outstanding, outstanding advertisement for the game. The sad thing is, this is a game that people won't watch, right? People will skip this one and they'll watch England and Chile. They'll watch, of course, South Africa and Ireland. They would have watched France and Namibia. They'll watch Scotland and Tonga, but they won't watch Georgia and Portugal. And this has been an, an incredible display of rugby. What's the good thing about rugby is this. This sort of style. This sort of uh, front forward attacking, expansive, free flowing, creative, enjoyable rugby. Now the world's best are the world's best, but they play a lot of negative rugby. These Portugal players have no fear. They are incredible. Brilliant, brilliant team. Brilliant performance. This is incredible. I've said incredible so many times. But I really am surprised by how this game's gone. I really wasn't expecting it to be this exciting. I thought the Portuguese might come out for 20, 30 minutes. I thought they might give it a bit of a nudge. But I thought Georgia would ultimately take it away. They've not. We're in the final eight minutes of this clash. I'm not going to sleep now. I've got like four hours to sleep between these games. The only difference between football and rugby is in football you can throw a forward pass. <laughs> oh, that's a good scrum from Georgia. How are we supposed to sleep after this, Dills? Come on. I mean, I could watch England for 10 minutes, and that would put me to sleep. 
Well, here they come again, Portugal. A little chip over the top. He's offside. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious me. He was so... A little chip went through from Portela, and he was so offside. Oh, the chaser. Um, he literally kicked it to him in front. Yeah, I, I, I had a bit of a chuckle there too, Dills. It's morning in the US. What time? Uh, what coast are you on, Brucey? I know my mate in Minnesota, it's about seven hours. So for him, it's probably about eight, nine o'clock in the morning. Um, roughly. So you're somewhere between what? Seven and ten, right? Six and ten? A.M.? <laughs> oh, well, we know they're going to win, Dills. We know they'll win that game. I mean, Chile should give them a good nudge. I mean, Chile's a bit like Portugal, right? I think they'll come out fired up. And they'll come out... They'll come out... And again, like they did against Japan, um, they'll fire up. They'll spread the ball. They'll do some exciting stuff. And they might put some pressure on England. Exactly, Dills. They did get a few tries. That's what I mean. Ooh, that looked a little bit high. But, you know, if they can get out and get a couple of chances against these, the English, if they don't defend up, they throw the ball wide, give it a bit of width, they could start to challenge. Here's a high kick from Portella, looking for a bit of pressure from the chase. Oh, a good flat line, good flat line chase from Portugal. Now they've got 60 to go here if they want to get back into the scorers, Georgia. South Central time zone. So that means you're about... So is it what? Quarter to eight in the morning? I think. Who's top of the fantasy league? Yayan! What's up, my man? It's nine. Quarter to nine. I was out by an hour. I don't know. You tell us. But you, you can say all you like. Yeah, and you can say all you like, dude, but who's got Raphael Storti in their fantasy team? Best performer of the weekend. Who? Who? Who shout out the massive three points for my boy Raphael Storti? You know it. Who identifies talent, eh? Storti's incredible. He's going to get a hat trick before this is over. Game of his life. You're not going to hear the end of this. Storti's fantastic. I expect that you're top, Yane. Masterclass. <laughs> I'll take it, dude. I will take it. Now, uh, you got anyone in, the, in this game? Oh, look out. Racing out. Georgia throwing caution to the wind here. Oh, this is tenacious defense, too, from Portugal. Players getting up out of tackles instantly and back into the tackle again. Four minutes to go. Talk to me about masterclasses, Yane. Talk to me. Talk to me, dude. Who have you, who have you picked up? I mean, if you tell me Pinot and, and Dupont, I'm not listening. Both Portugal locks. Okay. Do you have the lock that's playing in the back row? Because I noticed a couple of people had him. That's a good shout. They're probably, they're probably putting in a lot of tackles, right? Because Georgia are knocking on the door just outside the 22. About 30 meters out from the Portuguese line. Five points to deficit. Three and a half minutes to play. A little bit of width here for them. You triple captain Pino, you scummer. Oh, it's a penalty to Georgia. I've not triple captain anyone yet. I don't think Georgia kicked this. They go to the corner. They go to the corner. Well, well played, Yan. Well played, dude. I mean, well done. I mean, someone... Has he put it dead? Oh, ho, ho. it's Carly. It's Carly in the bin. Put Carly in the bin. I need, I, need, I need one more. One more member and we can put Carly in the bin. The emote's ready to go. He's, he's earning that, man. Carly's garbage. Even when he's in AR, he's garbage. Portuguese line out being very good. Can they defuse this mall? I blasted my way past Sheps. Ha, <laughs> Good job. Jack doesn't deserve it. 
Georgia mauling their way towards the Portuguese line. Mauling a metre short. Two metres short. Are they over? I have no idea. I have no idea. Georgia will bumble their way over in a mall. Yeah, see, Martins is playing in the back row. Referees have got nothing. This is it, man. This is it. This is it. <sighs> Drink it in. Two minutes to play. Georgia have rumbled their way over. If they score, it'll tie it up. A kick could take the lead and ultimately win the game. I want Georgia to, I want, I want Portugal to win this. Let me know what you think. If you're watching this, do you see a grounding? Do you see a grounding on this mall from Georgia? I have no idea where the ball even is. At the back somewhere. Oh, he's short. He's over. Is it? Or is he short? Oh, he's either short or he's on the line. Is I uh, No, I think it's a uh, Gee, she's picked that up quickly. My goodness me, that's a lightning decision. If I haven't used a booster this week, uh use one on someone as they reset the end of this round. Yes. We will use one. I will be using one this round. Um, at the end of this round? They reset the end of this round? Did they? Might have to use one on a... Um... Well, well, well. Georgia has scored. Oh, they reset. They reset at the end of the group stages, don't they? So you've still got another two rounds to use them. I think you can reuse them in the knockouts. Well, Georgia have scored, everyone. It is 18-18 with two minutes to play. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. What a finish. I feel devastated for the Portuguese. I really do. They've been the better team. What an incredible game of rugby this has been. Absolutely incredible. Just the... the the way they've played has been so refreshing. This is a kick to ultimately win it. A kick for Matt Carver to win the game. From the sideline, left edge. Matt Carver strikes it. Oh, oh, it's curved away. It's curved away. It looked on target and then it swiveled away. Oh, my word. Wow. Thanks, Jan, my man. Appreciate it, dude. 18 all. 30 seconds to play. I need some more sugar. Oi, oi, oi. Underway we go again. Last chance to impress. Georgia with the ball. I think, has Portugal turned this over? They have penalty Portugal. <laughs> penalty Portugal. Two seconds to play. Two seconds to play. Whew. This is next level. Taken from Georgia. Picked in into the into the ruck. I can't even tell. Number twenty, I think that was. Who was that? David Wallace. Very impressive. Oh man, this is. <sighs> Gwyneth is going to take the kick, the fullback. Oh man. Nuno Gwyneth has not kicked today. Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I can't. Here we go. 
Quidditch. Come on, Portugal. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, he's hooked at left. Oh, oh no. Oh. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Wow. I will never forget this game. I will never forget this match. What a game. It's unfair. It's unfair it has to end this way. Like, it, oh. I'm stunned. I am absolutely stunned. What a game. That kick from Matt Carver looked like it was coming in, then it just swerved away. Oh, Guedes' kick was on target, then faded. Wow. Oh, if he only started it a bit more to the right. Oh, man. What a game. Are you not entertained by that? Wow. I mean, England. Match that. Match that. Mighty. What just happened? What an incredible game. I, I simply can't believe that. What a match. Portugal's my new favourite team. Oh, they'll win big, yeah, but it won't be anywhere near as entertaining as this. Oops. How much to get a how much to get a Portuguese rugby jersey? Twenty-five dollars from AliExpress. <laughs> we have to rip the lads. Oh my god, what a game. We're some legit places. AliExpress is about as garbage as it gets. Official shirt? That's not an official shirt. Unbelievable. We don't want to support us, Polo. Get out of here with that garbage. Get out of here. Oh, he's so disappointed. Who make it? Oh, this is a Macron shirt. Oh, it's out of stock. How can this be? <laughs> I am, Sean. I am. It's out of stock. Oh, what's going on here? Come on. Cut the crap. I don't care. 97 power euros. Oh, God. It's a bit expensive. Oh, come on. We've got to, we've got to rip the Portuguese. Oh, I can't even buy a shirt. Unbelievable. <laughs> How much is 97 euros? My God, the ads on this. How much is that in, in, um, in fake New Zealand dollars? I'd hate to think. Holy Jesus. 200 bucks. Oh. No, there ain't. <laughs> the fat bag on a. No, there ain't no, I mean, no fat bag on a Portugal shirt. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even know how many 97 euros is. It's $173, dude. 173 bucks. Nah. Sorry, Portugal. I love you. But it ain't happening. <laughs> 
Maybe if it was $19.20, I could afford it. Oh, Georgia are disappointed. I mean, Portugal should be the happier too, are they right? But man, oh man. A draw is... It just, you just can't. You just can't. Everyone's disappointed. Who got man of the match? <laughs> I'll transfer the money now. <laughs> Portugal could be fire in a couple of years, man. Like, how old is this team? Like, how old are they? Players. Has it got age? Alright. Okay, he's a bit old. Okay, those guys ain't going to be there very long. My God, he's 44. Oh, that's caps. <laughs> this is age, right. Okay, 35. Okay, he's a bit, he's a bit gone. Okay. Tajir, Alves, getting on a bit. Okay, they've got a, they've got a few few old guys here. What about their backs? The backs are the exciting. Storty's only twenty two, man. He's gonna be around forever. Uh, where's Appleton's thirty? He won't see another World Cup. He may do. Where's Marta? Oh, he's only twenty three. He's amazing as well. Pinto's good. Uh, Guedes is twenty eight. Whoo! Average age on twenty six, roughly. Now nah, Bruce it ended as a draw. 18 all. Put it down as a business expense. <laughs> oh, man. Unbelievable game. Portella, he's key. He's only 22. Average age of 26. I mean, you, you're keeping your core backline together, right? Portella for sure. Uh, Marquez is a bit old. Um, I guess Lucas is the youngster coming through. But, I mean, look at the professionalism, or the lack of, right? Uh, Storty, plays for Bezier's, but Mount Marston is a D2 team. Oh, man. I love this Portuguese coach. He's so straight up. He's so real. Everything he says... Like the way he says to tell the players to go out and express themselves and to play with freedom. That's everyone should coach like that. Everyone should coach like that. Oh, poor fella. What an what an incredible coach. If you live in Portugal, go go play rugby. They've got a system and a half, right? Ah, uh, Italy are doing it. Yeah, they are. And I think they're getting rewards, right? Exciting play. What an incredible, incredible game. It just feels so... It feels so empty, right? Because, like, I was ready... Oh, Storty's got his family there. What a man. He's my new favourite player. Raphael Storty, he, he's, he's my new favourite player. He's incredible. He is, he, he's my man. Yeah, playing with freedom. That's what you like. Gabisi's turning into the player he should, yeah. But they all get that professional exposure, eh? We just need, we need to get these smaller nations that professional exposure. They're so young. And playing at such an incredible level. Playing at such an incredible style oh I love it I love it Italy is fun to watch too I'll, I'll give you that yeah and they are good they are good fun to watch as well they have such good powerful back rowers man what a game what a game so what does this do for the pool now right um Like a draw. Georgia pretty much are done, right? But they can still upset. I just think either of these two teams.
could cause trouble to those top three teams. I don't think that pull's done by a stretch, any stretch of the imagination. What an absolute performance from Portugal. Great from Georgia as well. They ex expected them to probably do better. But a phenomenal, phenomenal performance. Teams like Kenya are good in sevens. They haven't seen if that transfers 15. Well, a lot of the Portuguese guys are, um, are sevens guys. Right? So they've come through the sevens system. So, yeah, it, it does transfer. Like, for them, it has transferred as well. What an outstanding game. What an incredible game. Oh, I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> Dills is tripping out because it's 3 a.m. Yep, it's gone forward an hour. Georgia won against us. Went to the match. It was horrible. Against Wales. I think that was a really coming out game for Georgia, eh? They, they came out and they played the Portuguese style. They played expansive. They played exciting. They scored that really early try. It probably took Portugal 20, 25 minutes to get into that game. I think that cost them because from there on out, they were the best team. They could do it again, man. Yeah, 100% they could do it again. I'm so glad I stayed up for that game. That, that was the best game of rugby I've watched in an incredibly long time. Storty got me 77 points. Marquez got me 30. Gigashvili got me 24. I've had a really good round this round. I've had a really good round. I'm quite happy with that. I'm incredibly happy with that. Oh, who cares about the big teams now? I don't care. Who cares about South Africa and Ireland? They're not going to match this. That was a fantastic game. Look at that table. No. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just enjoying the good all-round performance of my team. Yeah, you know? We'll have a look at the league. I went up another spot, dude. Oh, we see you up there, sir. That This is cheats, man. This is cheats. It's against the rules. <laughs> oh, your second row did all right. Yeah, they're pretty good. Oh, why do I do that? Why do I make it go away? Um, Yeah, you, you got DuPont. You got Pinot. That was the big... That's why people that picked Mpimpi last week, right? That was the key. The whole Jacko's dropped down a long way. Oh, Supercard, I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm coming for you. Didn't get the points out of the players. Yeah. Had a poor choice of captain. But, uh, yeah, I've got to use my boosters, right? I've got to use those boosters, I think. I'm saving it late for a comeback. You got some big boys to come? Who else you got? I notice you've got... Now, I'm, I'm floundering around that 12th place, mate. I'm just enjoying the company. That's all I'm doing. You've got two back rowers. You've got three, four backs. You've got a 10 and three backs. Who you got in those spots? Yeah, and who you got there? Because, I mean, they could be big points players. Like your 10, one outside back, both midfielders, and two flankers uh, could cash you in a lot of points. Yeah, really could cash you in a lot of points. What an exciting game. Portella, such a great player. Oh, what a game, man. I would have loved Portugal to have got their first ever World Cup win. And what sucks, too, is neither of them get a bonus point. <sighs> crazy stuff. Ah, oh, man, so crazy. Why don't we have extra time? Should we have extra time in rugby? Should we have like a, a, um, a place kick shootout like they do have in some competitions? 10 minutes of extra time, golden point, right? And then shootout. I don't know, man. Does it, does, does a victor really change? I don't know, dude. This is... Pfft. Oh, I'm, I'm, yep, 
I'm speechless at how good that game was. Uh, you got Jack Morgan, Willis, Russell, Van der Merwe, Tui Pulotu, and Ollie Lawrence. Right, I got, I got Tui Pulotu in my midfield. Um, I got Ty Byrne to come in the second row. I'm not sure who else I got. But you've got Wales and Australia. You've got... Oh, England as well. I've got... um, uh, The English back rower. you got yeah, Jack Morgan. I don't know. That, that Aussie game... Yeah, I was contemplating putting that tackle booster on Tide Byrne, honestly. I was thinking about it. I'm, I'm thinking about it before I go to bed. I might do it, actually. I might do it before I go. And fingers crossed it comes out for me. Um... Yeah, even Tui Pelotu, I got him in midfield. I mean, you, you could score big with, with Van Amerva as well. I was going to pick up Russell. I probably should have. But I had to cash out a few other guys to get the points because he's 13 points old Russell. I'm surprised you've picked, you managed to pick up Pinot, Dupont, and Russell. Uh, my team... This is who I've gone for the round. So still to come for me, uh, Burn, Tummy Afuna, for Tonga, uh, Ludlam for England, Richie for Scotland, uh, and Tuipulotu is the only back I've got left to play. You tanked your front row. Well, so did I. I had two points left. I'm happy though with Kigashvili 24 uh, and Malvaka 50. I did cash big on Malvaka though. But I, I quite like Malolo um, who playing for Samoa. He's, he's great. Um... I, I like I, I cheaped out on my scrum half and my winger. These two lads here cost me about five points for the two of them. And I mean, yeah. Second row were both two and a half points. Yeah, I picked up Marcus Klamer because I thought he's playing in the back row for Argentina. But the Pumas are just so under par. They are really under par. So, <sighs> man, it's tough to pick, dude. It's really tough to pick. But I'm, you know, I think I might boost her up on Ty Burn. I think that might be my go. Boost her up on the defensive tackler. Um, and save the other two for the next two weekends. Someone's going to. Yeah, they do look awful. It's disappointing. Really disappointing. They struggled this morning. Um, but I'll probably I'll probably stay away from them in future rounds, honestly. Like Portugal look miles better. Georgia look way more better way more creative way more just exciting to watch i thought they could squeeze through i think i think they will still squeeze through right um pulls i think they will still squeeze through oh they beat samoa they just had to beat japan right um i think they'll make their way through samoa still have to play england that'll be the big one in that pool that will decide second, I think. Oh, before... Yeah, I thought they might top the pool, honestly. I thought they should top the pool. Um, but, pff, no. Disappointing. Really, really disappointing. But, um... Hey, that's the World Cup for you. I just seen the story to play Japan. Um... I mean, they've played Samoa. They've played England. England and Samoa have to play each other. So, there's still... Still a lot can happen in this one, right? What have we really learned? Japan surely get through? Well, Japan have to beat Argentina, right? And they've got to beat Samoa. Japan have played England and they've played Chile. So this pool is up for grabs. Way up for grabs. England should seal it tonight. Next game. Beat Chile. That means they've beaten Japan, um, Argentina and Chile. So I think they're through. They're safe. But um, second place... Chile aren't bad. Um, but yeah, it's, it could be any of Samoa, Japan, and Argentina. Of course, Samoa lost to Argentina, but Japan could beat either of them. Yeah, no, they, I mean, they're a bit like Portugal, aren't they, right? They like to attack. They're exciting. They're fun to watch. So it could be a decent game. It could be a decent game to watch as well. So, I mean, if, if you're writing games off at the end, you're doing yourself... A massive disfavour, right? 
to 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 miss out on this exciting style and brand of rugby you are you are doing yourself an injustice man you really really are if you're missing out in these games we'll see how it goes i mean when do they come up um what have we got coming up when do they play next weekend there you go like japan samoa there you go next friday um argentina chile probably might be bad i mean i'm kind of wanting to see this now I want to see this. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So much good rugby, right? That will be a bit of a blowout. I mean, what do we watch here? This Sunday's not got much going on, right? Do we watch that? That? Ooh. Only done to this tourney, uh, Namibia and Romania. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. Namibia had a little bit of promise at the start, but I think... They've fallen off. You've got a triple captain that Scotland game. Yeah, I, yeah, you're not actually. That's a bad, not a bad shout. Like a uh, whoever's on the wing, Darcy Graham, Van der Merwe, Stain, Kyle Stain, one of those three. Triple captain them. It's not a bad shout, dude. It's not a bad shout. And then your your kicker, your kicker booster. Who do you go for your kicker booster? Any of those, yeah. I'll see who plays, right? Because, I mean, they'll probably rest. Yeah. Depends who's played the most. They'll rest, obviously, one or two of them. But one of them will play. And I think they'll cash in on points, for sure. Could be an incredible weekend, right? I mean, jeez. Not sure about the kicker? Yeah. Portugal will beat Australia. Fiji and smoke everyone to win the World Cup. Yes, my T. Yes. I agree, dude. I love that game, man. Nah, I'm not staying up. I'm not. I'm not watching the England, the England game deals. It's still um. What's it got? It's still, dude. It's still an hour and a half away. So it's an hour and a half until the next game starts. So I'll, I'll go get like four or five hours sleep. That'll be enough for me. Um, but it's hard, man. After that fantastic game from Portugal, it's. <sighs> Man, your English needs help? What? My my England? What's wrong with my England? I think France have a break. Yeah, I think France have a bye. Yeah, they do. Uh, next round. Yes, indeedy. I mean, this was the round, right? This was the big round. I think next round's a bit of a... A bit of a dudder. That's going to be a good one. Wales and Georgia, though. And then that one, Ireland, I mean, geez, that's just about an all-nighter, isn't it? Wales, Georgia, England, Samoa, Ireland, Scotland. Wow. That's incredible. Japan, Argentina is going to be good. That might be fun. That might be fun. And that's it. That's it. But definitely you start for that one, won't you? Japan, Argentina. Definitely. Oh, there's still there's still a lot of exciting rugby to come. I mean that Australia Portugal, eh? Brace yourselves for that. Japan Samoa will be good. That one tomorrow. Yeah, we've got a lot of good rugby to come. Um, we've got what this weekend. You've still got two weekends of action to go. So a lot of exciting, exciting rugby to come. Oi, oi, oi. Man, take a breath. Watch that game on replay if you've not. That was an incredible game. But like Dill says, I think I might go sleep for a couple of hours. You'll laugh if Portugal beats Australia? I would love it, man. Imagine Eddie then. Bring on Italy. Yeah, I think that'll be an all right game too, All Blacks Italy. I think that might be all right. Uh, we'll see how it goes though. But there's still... <sighs> I mean, still the possibility of upsets, right? I think, though, this game tonight, Georgia, Portugal, my game of the World Cup. Next, um, Fiji, Australia, and Fiji, Wales. That's my top three games of the World Cup so far. Just incredible games of rugby. So much fun to watch. Yeah. Been entertained. Entertained completely. That would be crazy. It would be crazy. Wow. Right.
Oh, I'm going to get three, four, five, six. I'm going to go get four or five hours sleep, but I will be coming back for South Africa and Ireland. I had to think about that for a second. Uh, so I'm going to go get five hours shut eye. But, um, geez, if you don't want to watch England, just watch a replay of this game because that was game of the World Cup. An incredible match, full of excitement, full of absolute fantastic rugby. If you are all going to be here for South Africa and Ireland, I will be going live again. So come and come and um, join in. Second best game was Samoa upset, Bruce. Hopefully Bruin is tackling monster. I hope well. Um, if you're going to be tuning into the game, come chang hang out again. Um, I enjoy the chat. It's good to hang out and, and talk some rugby during the games. I think it's going to be a good one. Um, I think we're going to see, uh, hopefully, a heap of people um, tuning into that game as well. Because it's going to be, I think, bar the opener, this is the next, big, next biggest game. Then, of course, Wales and Australia is the other big one uh, for the World Cup so far. So, I'll be back for that one. Enjoy watching England put everyone to sleep. And I'll be back in oh, probably about half an hour, 20 minutes before the game gets underway between South Africa and Ireland. Thanks all you guys for coming by and hanging out. It's been good to actually stream a game that's not been in the middle of the night. So it's actually a good time for some of you guys who can't come by normally. So good to see you uh, guys like Bruce, uh, Yan as well, as always, coming by. Sean, always appreciate your comments, sir. Um, and I will see you guys in just a few hours um, for... Another stream. Another game of rugby. <laughs> You're an English fan. You don't even want to watch this. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I might have to up update this um, yellow card counter up here. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Ciao to everyone. Have a good night. Have a good couple of hours. Enjoy England, Chile. And I'll see you for South Africa and Ireland, which is going to be a stunner. Until then, though, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for the supporters for helping out with the channel. And I'll see you guys all in a few hours' time. Until then, take care, enjoy, and I'll see you for Ireland, South Africa. The big one. Big, 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 big monster. The monster game of the weekend. Go Portugal! Let's go, Storty! Woohoo!